morning, everyone. You want a banana peanut butter muffin? <laughs> We're having one before we head out the door to do all our um, all our errands today. I made these and I put a few in the freezer, so on rare occasion where we have to go, we have them on hand. This is the last two. Bruce already ate his, of course. I guess he was hungry this morning. So I'm just going to cut this open, put a little butter on. The butter's a little hard, always. And we're going to go eat this, and then we'll be ready to go run our errands. Good morning, people. Morning. Okay guys, we got our taxes done, we got our banking done, Woohoo! you ready to go? Let's go my beauty. Okay, so we're heading towards Costco, but let's hit the thrift stop stores oh, yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. Let's go guys. Let's go man. My favorite part of thrifting these little baggies. I love to look at them. I'm gonna show you these shoes, you guys. What in the world? Look at these shoes, hon. What more dreams? Um, scoop oh yeah. Is that metal? Yeah. Oh yeah. Good and then find. this uh, cake thing. I got enough of those. No, but. you don't have one of them. That's pretty there. This one right here. <laughs> We're at Kelsey's for lunch. Me and my date. Before we go to Costco, got to fuel up. You. Look at our lunch, you guys. Bruce got a chicken sandwich. Look at the onions you got on there, huh? Mm -hmm. I got chicken fingers and onion rings. We could share, huh? Why no. don't we share? Mm -mm. Why not? I'm not the cherry guy. <laughs> this is amazing. We're having a nice time today. These are homemade. Like they make them from scratch. Okay, guys, it's time for Costco. Uh, <laughs> yeah, faster than just normal. Just takes up space on your countertop, like your stupid toaster dust oven. Collector. Nobody uses it's except a dust the collector. Toast. It's so I people never get come another, into your house and you can say, "Look at what I just bought." I never Do you get another have one? toaster oven. This is a nice toaster, huh? A little simple Yeah, but contact. it still doesn't have the same, what we need. What? Somebody to butter the toast. <laughs> you went and you got rid of the one that we had that was perfectly good shape. That's, I thought that was expensive. I'm not, I'm not really saying I want that. You brought up to here. I didn't know they were that much money. Okay, I thought of getting this. This is what I thought of getting, huh? You said it was cheaper. I, that's it. The other one was nineteen ninety five and it broke. Why would you get something like that? Because oh, that's 
Oh, because it says KitchenAid. So you I'm going to pay all so kinds of money. Pocket. Yeah, right. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at ladies. Have it's equality. got a high button. And it's got an off button. It's got a pulse button. Uh, it, see if I'm you thinking got a, about That's it. to see I if you know. got a heart, if you got a pulse on your heart. Why is it so much money? Because KitchenAid. Bruce wants to get that for when our kitchen's open in our hours of uh, our business. <laughs> yeah, tell them what I want to do. I want to buy a safe too so we can put all our money in there. Yeah, all our big money. Yeah, how we make from our meal. <laughs> oh, balloon time. They sell balloon, uh, helium balloons. First stock up is ground beef. I thought I had three bags of shit. We're getting three of them today. Okay, we're gonna get some roast. Stock up on some roast. A couple of. They have two in them each. Oh, there's a hole in this bag. Just grab a whole handful of bags, huh? I stole the paper from my lunch. Look at the chickens on that paper. I had to take it. Bruce laughs at me. I'm talking here! Yeah. Uh-huh. Chickens, chickens everywhere and they're all girls. No roosters. Hold on at Costco. Let's head home, hon. I had my, I wore my new jacket today. Bruce really liked it. You ready to go home? Well, we gotta get gas first. Hold on. Okay. Okay guys, we have our work ahead of us. We gotta package all this meat up. So we'll show you how we're gonna package it up. Uh, we'll just show you as we go along. I'm not gonna do a Costco haul. I'll show you each thing we as we go along and uh, package things. And uh, I'll show you in a different haul what we got at the, at the uh, thrift store. So let's get busy. We got a lot of work here to do, guys. Okay, first thing we got was hot dogs. You get three packs at Costco. Those are the Kirtland uh, hot dogs. We love hot dogs, so we want to make sure we have a freezer full of hot dogs. That's first. I'm not going to have to wrap them. They're already packaged, so that's one good thing. Okay, first things first, we're going to do these chickens. Hun, can you get the baskets we bought at the dollar store, too? Oh, I don't know where they are. Here, I've got to do this. You go do what you do and I'll wrap I'm them. I'm wrapping it. I was going to wrap it. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Knock it doesn't matter. Okay, let's wrap these and we'll show you. So you want to get your press and seal wrap here. And you want to wrap your meat. And you're going to wrap it real good. This causes, this will make your chicken not be frostbite fitting at all. Hey Bruce, does it keep it moist? Yeah. So, 
That's what you want to do. So we've got six chickens we got to get done here. So we will be back. And then we're going to put them in a, uh, a cereal bag. Cereal bag. Okay, put it in there, honey. So, uh, so I tape it, I tape it. Do they fit perfect? Yeah. Three mm -hmm. fit in here perfect from Costco. Just like you're taking it out of one packaging and putting it in the other one. Okay, we'll be back. Come on, let's go. Okay, the chickens are done. Show them, Bruce. Six chick whole chickens going in the freezer. That's a basket she bought at That's Walmart. a basket we're going to keep them in. At the dollar store, the Dollarama. Dollarama. Okay, so now we're moving on to um, chicken thighs. I'm going to put four in each and wrap them with the press and seal. And then put them in a, a medium freezer bag. But the press and seals, they're going to be wrapped first. Okay, so Bruce is going to show you how many chicken thighs we got out of that. We packed four in each bag. Show them how you put it in. He puts it in a, we, I wrap it in saran, press and seal, and then he puts it in a freezer bag. Yeah, look. A that. medium freezer bag. Yeah, like the price of freezer bags. And the thing is, it's like you're double coating it. Yeah, it might cost you a little money for a roll of this. But, but the yeah. thing is, it doesn't freeze because you figure you got three barriers. Usually you only got one little thin thing of, uh, of uh, with that saran wrap. So here you're getting, you get double saran wrap. This Press is almost seal. like double, this baggie here is almost uh, double. And plus you got it in this, free, you got it in one of these uh, cereal bags. So it's like it's got to go through three did layers. You get how many bags? Three. Well, how many is in each it's bag? In three bags. You get. No, I. You listen, figure with you. I'm asking how many bags did you get? I just told you. No. How many? There's seven bags in here. Okay, I thought you seven, had. Seven bags in one of these. And the other one I got, I think, six. So I'll have to put one more in. But so it's going to be. Okay, we got 15 bags of chicken thighs with four in each bag. Okay, so next is the roast beef. We got four of them. And we're going to wrap each one separately. And then we can get, out of one roast beef, I could get at least three meals in sandwiches, lunch meat sandwiches out of that. Yeah, so I'm gonna, we're going to go wrap these four roast beefs. So we need the bigger bags. Yeah. So I make sure the sticky parts on the bottom, and this is not the sticky side, the sticky side's underneath. And then when I, I always wrap, double wrap them. So I wrap them once like this, that's sticky. And then I turn the sticky side over. So this is the sticky side now. And then I wrap them again. That way you're not having the sticky side on your meat. If you're scared that there's something in the sticky side and it's on the sticky side. This is smart dance. <laughs> look at the size of that steak. Me and Bruce can split that. Come on, easy now. Yes, we can split that. Easy now, Mama Mia. Here's Sandy, and she insists on staying outside all the time. Never wants to come in. Like somebody was having fun out there. An outdoor dog. Somebody. You're supposed to be a Shih Tzu, Sandy. Like this little guy. Uh, <laughs> better chance. Okay, so how many steaks in there? Six. Let me see. Show them. And then I can get, for one steak, I can get... Uh, a steak dinner, or I can do a, uh, a beef stir fry out of one steak. And these bags, the Cheerio bags, any kind of bag, Fruit Loop bag, whatever, cereal bag, will hold up to. Uh, I just go in and I take one out of the bag. 
Yeah, then you don't have a mess. Everything laying. How many chicken wing bags do you got One, there? Two, three, four, five. Five chicken five bags. Chicken, bags. chicken wings. I didn't put uh, suppress and seal on them. Just put them in the. But he'll put them in a free. He'll put those. Take those and put them in a in the cereal bag. Then you take one bag out at a time that you want to use. And you leave the rest in the cereal bag. That's enough. I could get probably two meals out of that. Okay. Okay, so we're doing the hamburger. I got two packages of the hamburger. And I'm putting them in bags. And a third package I'm going to make into hamburgers. And we're going to freeze them for hamburgers. Just enough for uh, spaghetti sauce, sloppy joes, uh, chili, whatever. If you need more, you can take two bags out. And Bruce is flattening them. So they fit in the freezer flat. Yeah, because then you don't have everything bulked up. Yeah. Everything's not falling all over. Okay, last package. It's going to be made into hamburgers. Now, we like nothing in our hamburger. We don't like any fillings in our hamburgers, okay? So let's be real simple to make. And I'll show you how I freeze these up. So you want to see how many bags you got? Yeah, how I many did you get? Them. How many did you get out of there? Oh, I can't count. How many bags? Twelve. 12 bags. Yeah. And that will be for, like I said. What did you want, Mom? If I wanted to make a meatloaf, I'll take two bags out. So let's get making. I just have a question, people. If you come in your fridge, freezer, and you said. I oh, like to mark everything. What is that? She wants me to mark everyone? I everyone. marked everything else. She knows what they are. People, please give her intervention. Please. Okay, hamburgers. I'm gonna take the lid off this right here. Well, people. We're gonna push this, push it up, Bruce. Push what up? Push this up. You're doing a good job. People, we live in Hammersburg. <laughs> because she was complaining about me putting hamburger, so I put, I made my own word. I didn't Hammersburg. Put I don't have time for jokes. I want to get this done. Okay. She does a little work and she's got to cry. Each hamburger you're going to put on a tray. Don't you put parchment paper? Not yet. Why? You'll see. You don't cook them. Okay. You freeze them. So, where are you? Okay. We're going to freeze these in the freezer like this. We're going to put them all on this tray here. Plus, you gave me the smallest tray you could find, eh? That's the biggest one! Oh, I need another one. Let's get these on here and get them in the freezer. Okay, so now we got these pork chops that we're cutting, thinning out. We're cutting them in half this way. This is way too thick for us. We like a thinner pork chop. Okay, next is the boneless chicken breast that we're going to split in half. Okay, we still have to wait for our hamburgers. They're not frozen. That might be tomorrow we'll do that. And so I'll show you what we got, else we got at um, Costco and a little bit of changes we're doing. This is going to replace our other spray. Um, We'll be now using, uh, well, once this is done, we still have all this, but we'll be switching over to avocado spray, oil spray. This is uh, our avocado oil. We'll be replacing that, the vegetable oil that we bake with, 
And if it uh, if it calls for vegetable uh, half oil in the baking, we'll be using avocado instead. And this is what we'll fry in uh, instead of canola oil, instead of vegetable oil, grapeseed oil. It's better. It's pure. So uh, it's for frying, baking, and salads. You could also use it for baking too. We're switching over. No more vegetable oil or canola oil. So this is our change up here. And we just got some freezer bags, the large ones we needed. And Bruce got his Doritos. So I think I got the... Let me show you the, the um, spare ribs in the oven. There's the spare ribs. I'm just going to... We're going to eat some tonight. And it'll be tomorrow's dinner. I'm going to make some potato salad with it probably tomorrow. Yeah, so... We'll show you our spare ribs once they're cooked, and then we're gonna call it a night. Cause I have to go do a um, thrift haul for you guys, and it might be quite long that thrift haul. Okay, so we're not perfect, but I'm trying to change things up a bit. I still bought some jelly beans, which is going to go in here, but we're not perfect, and I still like my pot. I bought some white corn. This is the amount I'm going to purchase from now on. Just enough. And I'm getting rid of all that microwave popcorn in the pantry. That'll be work to do on the weekend, maybe. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, I'm trying to eat popcorn for snacks instead of chips. And I also got some sour cream and onion to go... Hey, what are you doing down there, you guys? If I don't tighten you, you, you fall on me. Uh, sour cream and onion to put on the popcorn. You know, little changes. I'm not saying we're perfect at all. We still like to have a jelly bean and a pop. But just changing little things up here and there. Okay, I'm just so hungry. Ugh. I got a headache. I'm done. We'll package those hamburgers in the morning. I got some ribs. I'm so hungry. I'm tired. And I'm cranky. Oh, so good. Sorry about all the meat, you guys, today. Sorry for you vegetarians. <laughs> But we got it done. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's that purple thing? It's my straw. <laughs> I'm so tired I am. I'm probably going to do the, uh, thrift haul tomorrow. I'll do it when I'm more relaxed, more rested. That's a long day packing all that meat. Mm hmm I need more barbecue sauce for these ribs. I don't have enough. Uh, mm. Next, we're going to have to do one more haul. Oh, what? You not want ribs. Uh, the next one and the last one will be flour, sugar, brown sugar, all that stuff needs to be. Well, I'll find out more when I go through my pantry, but that'll be the next one. And then we'll be all set for a long time. We'll just have to pick up little things like veggies, fruit, you know, stuff I might need for a recipe, that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. I'm going to go, you guys. I'm so hungry, and I'm so ready for bed.
Bruce Nader in his room. He's finally going through some of his stuff. He's a hoarder like his dad. And he's had enough. He's going through his things, so getting rid of all kinds of things. <laughs> you guys have a good night. And well, come join us tomorrow. I'll do my thrift haul tomorrow. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.